and welcome back to another episode of the Coffee Diary series, the series where we talk about all things blogging and photography. And I'm your host, Oni Moss. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's tuned in to watch the series or listen to the series. And remember guys, because this is also a podcast, like I said in my previous episode, so you can catch up on the series on um, Stitcher, iTunes, and also um, SoundCloud. So be sure to subscribe if you're not and um, rate the series. And don't forget that you can leave your questions because it is an interactive podcast. So today we're going to be talking about um, two topics um, based on the questions that were left behind in the previous series. And the first one that I'm going to be tackling is where do you find inspiration? But first things first, I've got my brew in hand and as usual, it is a cup of tea. Even though this series is called Coffee Diaries, I believe I already explained that in the first episode. So where do I find inspiration for my blog? I love that question a lot because I feel like with blogging, you definitely need to be inspired. <laughs> I mean, it's not something you just go out and do randomly. If you're not inspired, then you definitely get bored um, as time goes on. So seeking inspiration is something I do. You have to be very deliberate and intentional about inspiration when it comes to blogging. So I have done a blog post um, regarding how I find inspiration, but basically um, the way I go about it, I do go out seeking inspiration on a daily basis. Um, what I've done is that on Instagram, because of the new algorithm, um, it doesn't really show you a lot of people that you follow. And the truth is that I follow people who inspire me and also friends and family and some of the nice people that I've met on Instagram. But the thing is that with the new algorithm, I don't get to see a lot of people that I follow and it's a shame. So what I've had to do is create another Instagram account um, and made it private because it's not an account where I post um, stuff, but I just created a private account where I can follow the accounts that I truly and genuinely get inspiration from. Um, I'm gonna share some of those accounts in a bit, um, but I follow those accounts and at the moment, I believe in following like eight accounts that I get inspiration from. And what happens is because I'm not following a lot of people on that private Instagram account, Instagram shows me everyone's posts that I'm following easy way to stay inspired every day. So what tends to happen is that every morning um, after I've woken up and done my meditation, I pick up my phone, you know, go on Instagram and voila, those accounts are there and I can see their pictures and instantly, almost instantly, I become inspired. It's a good way for me to start my day because then I feel like, oh yeah, I need to go out and create something. So that's a good place to start. But sometimes that might not be enough. So what I tend to do is to also deliberately seek out inspiration. Like I said in the um, previous episode of the podcast, I did say that I go out and seek out photography documentaries. A good one that I recommended last week um, is Shoot First by Harry Benson. So I actually go out of my way to seek inspiration. But not just that. Um, it's funny how I also find inspiration in the things that go on in life. So say for example, I could be sat down on the couch, eating breakfast and something might be playing on TV. It could be a movie or an ad and instantly I would find inspiration from it. So it's funny how you can find inspiration in like different places. It could be from reading a book as well or just flipping through magazines. Um, but it's something that you have to be very deliberate about. Also, I would say going out and taking a walk could definitely inspire you because you could be inspired by the things you see on the road or the people you encounter or even nature or your immediate environment. So you never know. So something I always tend to do is take a walk and surprisingly, I do get inspired after doing that because it's just a way for me to clear my head, but also, um, notice um, other things that I might not really have noticed um, before if I was um, walking somewhere in a hurry. So I would definitely say I am deliberate about seeking inspiration and you also have to be very deliberate about it. So I would say um, set up a private Instagram account and follow accounts that inspire you so you don't miss out their posts and you get your daily dose of inspiration. I would say actively seek out inspiration, be it a documentary or a movie, or just pay pay close attention to what it is that's taking place around you, and you'll be amazed at um, 
how much you could be inspired by. So the first account I follow for inspiration is an account called Travel In Her Shoes. As the name suggests, she is a travel blogger and her images just makes me want to see more of the world, which is something I've always wanted to do. Another account that I follow that I absolutely love is Collad Vintage. The reason why I love her is because she's a slightly older blogger and she is living her best life. Oh my God, as a blogger in my 30s, I feel like I can connect really well with her and that is helping me go out and not be afraid to embrace all of life. And plus her pictures are pretty amazing. Um, another account that I follow and absolutely love again is Tezam, spelled T E double Z A M B. The reason why I love Tezam is because no one picture is the same. You can tell that she puts a great amount of effort into every image that she creates, and that is inspiring in itself. It makes me want to think outside the box each time I see her pictures, it makes me want to push myself a lot more. And plus she's an all nice, really, really nice person. Um, so yeah, so she's definitely one that I love and enjoy following. Another account that I also love um, is a guy called Q Mike, also known as uh, Mr. Levitation. He um, is someone who I would describe um, as having strong creative directive skills because all his images, you can tell he's putting a great deal of effort into it and plus he is a good photoshopper. His images and his videos are one to really watch out for. Another account that I also love is an account called Wish 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 ran by Carrie. She does a really great job with her aesthetics and her images are so pleasing. She is super chilled and nice and definitely one to follow as well. And finally, um, another account that I love for creative direction as well but doesn't really post very often is a lady called Asayami Gold. I'm sure some of you have heard of her before. Her work is amazing. And you can tell that she has really strong creative direction when you look at her content. Um, so those are the accounts that I really follow off the top of my head. But I follow a few more, but those are the ones that I can remember off the top of my head. So I would say look for accounts that genuinely speak to you and inspire you. And that way you never run out of inspiration. Um, and hopefully that makes you go out there and focus on your own um, craft. So I hope that answers your question on inspiration. Um, the next topic we're going to talk about is starting an Instagram account from scratch. Now someone just left a comment, they didn't, it wasn't really a question, they just said um, can you talk about how to start an Instagram account from scratch. I'm guessing, this would be me guessing, um, that what the person is referring to is how to grow an Instagram account now because starting an account is super easy all you need is an email address or a phone number or if you have Facebook you can sign in using any of those and create an account so once you get started once you have an Instagram account what you want to do is decide what are you going to do if you're a blogger you know what topic am I going to focus on? For me is fashion, um, lifestyle, travel and um, photography. That is what I focus on. So you have to actually have a plan in mind. What are the things you're going to be sharing on your page? I would say starting an Instagram account now is good, but um, the growth is not as fast as it used to be like two, three years ago because of the whole algorithm, but it is still very possible to grow. The key to growing on Instagram is having great content, engaging with people um, that you genuinely like. Um, Instagram's algorithm has made it so that it be it's become more of like a social platform. If you're not engaging with other accounts, you're not going to be seen. So you definitely need to engage with other accounts, leave comments, like pictures and um, send people messages and communicate with them. And that is the way to grow. I found that the way I grow on Instagram now is not necessarily Instagram pushing up my posts to a lot of people, but a lot of people seeing my accounts and like sharing it and saying, go follow this and um, go follow my Sony because they like my post. So I feel like that is where and strong content comes in. Like I've said before, there's so many apps that you can use to make your pictures look a lot better. I do sell my own Lightroom and um, presets that you can purchase on my blog. 
Um, I always leave the link in every video that I do. Um, if you're looking to improve your photography, I also have an ebook that you can use. It's always a good place to start if you don't know anything about photography. So I highly recommend you definitely check it out. So for starting on Instagram, I would say right now what you need to do is um, produce quality content picture wise post on a regular basis i'm not saying post three times a day if you can manage once a day that would be fantastic use hashtags um that are relevant to you to make sure that your account is discoverable say for example if you're a mommy blogger i would say use the hashtag mommy blogger so you can connect with other people in your community but also search through the hashtags that you're using and communicate with other bloggers who are in your niche as well build relationships and you never know that is how collaborations come about um, engage with other people on the platform I know a lot of people only follow people who follow them back I think you need to um, follow accounts that genuinely inspire you see how you can build a relationship with them so post on a daily basis make sure that the quality of your images are good and engage on the platform. That is the best way um, that I would say you should go about starting an Instagram account if you were to start one today. And um, as time goes on, the more you post, um, the more um, people will um, start following you because somebody's gonna come to your page, even though your pictures are good, but you only have six pictures, you're gonna be like, uh, you know, this person's not really posting. So I would say post at least once a day if you're looking to grow on Instagram. I mean, that's the technique that I followed and it certainly worked for me, um, especially with the new algorithm that keeps changing on a daily basis. I hope um, that kind of like touches on the um, questions that you guys ask. You guys know what to do if you have more questions that are blogging and photography related, just leave your um, questions in the comment box down below or tweet us. Um, at my coffee diaries and we will make sure that your questions are answered in upcoming episodes thanks for sticking around and i will see you guys next week bye, bye.